Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to talk more about data structures. Those that follow the channel know that I made a linked list video not too long ago, and ever since then I've been meaning to follow it up with another video about doubly linked lists. That's what we're gonna talk about today. In that original video, I talked about traditional linked lists, or sometimes we call them singly linked lists. They're basically a bunch of nodes that are linked together by a single link from one node to the next. So each of your nodes has one pointer that connects it to the next item in the list. And we also talked about some different ways in code that you can create new nodes and add them to the list. And we also made a function that helps us find a node in the list and also one that goes through the list and prints out all the elements in the list. So why make another video? Because singly linked lists do have some limitations. The main one is that with a traditional linked list, you can only move in one direction. You start at the beginning and you march through to the end, but you can only go in that direction. You can't go backwards. And where this becomes a problem, for example, is when I actually want to remove a node from the list. If I want to remove a node in the middle of the list, I need to have a pointer to the node that came before it, and that might be a problem. If I didn't save a link to the previous node in the list, now I'm gonna to have to go back to the beginning and basically march through the list until I get to the one right before it. Now I have a pointer to the previous node, and so now I can actually remove that node but that's kind of a pain and it's slow. What if the list gets really long? What if I have to go all the way back and march all the way through the list again just to remove one node? That seems like something I don't wanna do. And so sometimes when we're making linked lists, sometimes we add a previous pointer, a link that goes the other direction so that we end up having links going both ways. We call this a doubly linked list. And now when I wanna delete a node in my list, it's super easy. Because I got links going both ways, I don't have to search through the list. I just go, I, I can just find the previous one and I can find the next one and I can just update the linkages and it's super fast and super easy. So let's see how this is done in code. So I'm gonna start off where we left off in the previous linked list video and let's say that I want to add a function that removes a node. So I'm gonna give it a head pointer, well really a double pointer so that we can change the head if we need to and then we have a special case that we gotta handle if a node we're trying to delete is the head because there, there's no previous pointer in this case. So we gotta handle that specially. But for everything else, we're going to need to get a temporary pointer. We're gonna have to start at the head and then we're gonna have to hunt through the list until we find the node that is before the node that we're trying to remove. And now we're annoyed. And if we compile it and run it, it totally works, but it just isn't as clean as I would like. And if my list gets long, it's going to be really slow. So let's make our list doubly linked. Now we're gonna go up here to where we define the struct and add another pointer. I'm gonna call it prev, short for previous. And now we go through our functions and handle that extra link. This is gonna work differently for different functions. When we create a node, we need to initialize the link. When we insert a new node, then we need to make sure that the previous link now points backward appropriately. And down here in our remove function, we now need to take the previous link into account but it's useful here as well. So now we have a link to the previous node. So now we link them up. We're gonna link the previous node's next pointer to the removed node's next node. If there is a next node, we want its previous pointer to point back at the removed node's previous node. And in the case where we're deleting the head, we need to make sure that the first node's previous pointer points to null. Unless of course there is no first node. And then for good measure, let's just set the remove nodes links to be null, just in case anyone gets any big ideas and thinks about trying to follow those links after we've removed the node. So let's go down to main and see if it works. Just for good measure, I'm going to also try removing the head because I just wanna make sure that part of the code works too. So let's compile it, we run it, and we segfault, which really isn't all that surprising. I just went through and wrote a lot of code. I updated a whole lot of pointers and it would have been miraculous if it had actually run because I went through this pretty quickly. Those extra previous links are convenient, they make deletions fast, but they also add complexity, and apparently I didn't handle that complexity very well. So let's figure out what went wrong. Okay, so let's load it up in our debugger, and we're gonna run it, and it looks like we segfault here on line 31. And if we check our head pointer, we can see that the head pointer is null, meaning the list is empty, but I forgot to check for that case, and I just went ahead and dereferenced the pointer anyway. So let's fix it, and we'll compile it and rerun it, and now it works. We've deleted nodes at the front of the list and in the middle, and hopefully my code doesn't have any more bugs in it, but that's pretty much all there is to a doubly linked list once you understand a singly linked list. It's faster if you need to delete stuff. It may be more convenient if you need to traverse your list in reverse order, and maybe those extra links just give you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. 
I'm not gonna judge. Some people just really like doubly linked lists, but just keep a couple of things in mind. First of all, those extra links do slow down operations a tiny bit. You do have some more pointers to update. That slows things down just a little bit. It also makes your nodes larger. Keep in mind you're now, for every node, you're storing an extra pointer. On a 64-bit machine, each pointer is eight more bytes. That may or may not matter depending on your memory constraints for your program. And as you just witnessed, a doubly linked list means more code, which means more complexity, which means more opportunities for bugs. And so it's more code to maintain. And so that's also something to keep in mind. So it's not really a one size fits all scenario. Sometimes you'll use a singly linked list, sometimes you'll use a doubly linked list, and I leave it to you to decide what works best for your individual programs. And that's where I'm gonna leave you today. Have fun with your newfound doubly linkedness. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video when I show you more useful stuff, whatever it may be. I'll see you then.